vision, spiritual warfare, while sleeping, my spiritual senses became sensitive, then I had a dream vision, I found myself inside of a church in Baguio City, there are several people whom I knew and we were fellowshipping, while walking along the lobby, I saw a huge ball of light, I ran as fast as I could but it hit me, I was slain and lost all my strength and my breath, afterward, I saw my spirit coming out of my body, I felt I am already dead, at first I got scared but that feeling fled when I started flying in the air. The speed become more rapid and then I saw earth becoming smaller and smaller, I was amazed by the sights that I saw in the universe, seriously, I was tantalized, I saw stars and planets at last. Because I so love God's creation, they were so huge and they were billions of them. As far as my eyes could see, I was so amazed, I said oh lord this is too beautiful I thought, I'm going to heaven, I was so excited, but something stopped me in the second heavens, and was just hovering, suddenly I heard a voice, I knew in my spirit that he wasn't the lord, I knew he was an angel, because I had already heard God's voice before, he said, do you really want to see heaven? I said, yes, of course. He said, then you have to seek him more, pray more read his word more and worship more, upon hearing that I was disappointed as I knew I wouldn't enter heaven from that moment, I then saw what looked like a medium sized screen, this is what was shown on it, a drawing of a man, without details, just to show that it is a man, then I saw Satan, who was in black, with horns and he was floating, looks like checking every parts of the man's body then suddenly he noticed the head of the man, he released power through his fingers to the head of the man, the head was labeled mind, while seeing this. The angel spoke listen carefully, Satan's main attack is the mind, he can't read your minds but he can implant evil thoughts and evil desires, when the mind of a man fails, everything else fails, your mind is where you think thoughts, think what to do, think what to say, every human should guard their minds. But here's what to do in order to take stand on his schemes, then I saw on the screen the following appear, pray, worship, read his words, after seeing this. The angel spoke again if you really want to triumph against the devil, you must pray, worship, read the words, upon hearing those, I remembered the times when I skipped reading and meditating God words, I remembered the times when I got lazy praying and worshipping. I felt sudden sadness from that very moment, he said, now go back to earth and do what the Lord wants you to do, I gained gravity and my spirit started to fall back on earth, then I reached the place where I was struck by that ball of light and I returned to my body, one night I fell asleep easily, I had an insomnia that week, my eyes closed easily, but my spiritual eyes were wide open. I saw my sister sitting next to me, I could see our room as if I was awake, but I was not. And then I entered into a dream vision, I saw myself and my sister inside an unfamiliar room, we went outside and saw people that were a zombie like and we saw numerous demons of all sort, the Lord spoke to me again in my spiritual ear. He said my daughter, do not be afraid of them, I am here with you, remember you can cast them out in my name, and then I got awakened, but in a matter of second, I went back to that dream vision again. This time I got terrified. I can feel that my spirit is in that place, but my physical eyes are opening, I can still see my sister sitting next to me, I am making a sound for her to hear me, but still she can't hear me, I don't know how to explain this, back to my dream, suddenly, one witch demon tried to attack me, she was wearing what do witches wear, black robe, with hat and his face looked horrible, I got terrified and then the Lord spoke to me again do not fear. You can cast them out, and then I said in the mighty name of Jesus, get out of my sight and go back to where you belong. I shouted and they disappeared, then I saw myself falling from a cliff, this time I got extremely terrified again. I wanted to awaken my physical body, I was saying to myself where am I going, this is so real. And then I heard Jesus saying my daughter, I will be with you, I will never leave you. Do not be afraid, I love you so much, and I was comforted by that, after falling from something like 30 feet high cliff, I reached the ocean, when I was about to submerge on the water, I became waterproof.
I saw different kinds of sea creatures, I saw coral reefs, I felt sudden joy, but fear overtook me again when I was realizing I was already in the deepest part of the ocean, I got terrified and wanted to be awaken, and then I heard Jesus said my daughter, do not fear. Remember I will be with you, I will never leave you, I am here, then I noticed something that has lightened my way to the deepest part of the ocean, I then reached the ocean floor, or the crust, this is what I saw and passed through. When I am about to enter the crust, I held the layer with my bare hands then it opened. Please try to imagine. Inside the crust, there were solid materials, metals, stones etc, it was all black. I was saying I think I know where I am going, after that I passed the mantle, I held its layer with my bare hands again and it opened, it had molten rocks, partly solid as well, it was brownish reddish and it was becoming hotter and hotter. I could feel it though I had a shield from the Holy Spirit, I remember I was traveling thousand miles in a tremendous speed very fast in a matter of seconds. Then I held something extremely hot. It was a form of liquid molten rocks, metals, it looks magma or lava etc, it has a color of reddish orange, this layer is incredibly hot. While passing through it I noticed I was burning, I was gnashing teeth, I don't know why I could feel it because I had a shield. I got extremely afraid I said my lord save me. I was trying to awaken my body but I couldn't. While passing I knew in spirit that I was already in hell. In another vision I saw several torments in hell, man burning, demons tormenting people, all sorts of torments. I got extremely afraid, after passing I was straightly headed into a dirty room, a mixture of a cave and a tunnel, it seems located underground, I saw creatures and humans in a meeting. I guess two or three or more, the spirit made me know that they were humans, I was thinking they shouldn't be here, they are supposed to be tormented who are they? I saw one sitting on a chair, he looked like a zombie, emotionless, looks robotized, he had dirty robe, but I didn't focus on them, I noticed they were planning something but I didn't hear them, I was so desperate to be awaken, but the Lord won't allow me, suddenly I saw something flying like a bat, that thing popped up and I saw Satan. He was in black robe, he had the same ugly features, I turned my head so I can't look at him but I can still see his reflection on the wall. He seemed in a rush and worried about something, I saw him walking forward then turn, then walk and turn around. Suddenly he stopped and I heard him so clearly talking to these people. He angrily shouted, we have to work double time. The end is near. I got extremely terrified upon hearing this, finally I became visible to them, and Satan saw me, and hovered and suspended himself before me. He seemed like a hungry lion ready to bite me, he told me, you. Why are you here, I was so terrified. I cried to the Lord to take me out of there, then I saw another scene that was real, I saw the angel of the Lord seize the dragon, I shouldn't be scared of this scene, but what made me scared is the fact that it is in the Bible. The night after I dreamed this, I immediately documented and posted it on Facebook, that night I was on my bed praying and I got sleepy though I had an insomnia that week, my spiritual senses were totally active. Then I heard voices of demons, they were laughing, I got extremely terrified. But I heard Jesus telling me you can cast them out in my name don't be afraid, I am here with you. Then I said I rebuke you in the mighty name of Jesus. Then I got awaken, after a matter of seconds, I returned to my sleep with my eyes shut, I heard these demons again. This time my spiritual body was all tied by an unseen rope, suddenly I heard a double voice laughing and saying here is one of our enemies. I knew the one speaking was the dragon. I got extremely terrified though I have seen him many times. He has been attacking me many times. I cried and tried to cast him but I was unable to pronounce the name of my Jesus, then I heard the dragon clearly telling me, you. Are you not going to stop or are you really trying to fight with me? I was shocked, I could feel the extreme fear on my heart but I didn't answer, but the dragon addressed me again on these terms, do you think you will pass my limit? Certainly not. He laughed and said you are not going to succeed in your plans. I will kill and destroy you. 
While hearing his words I felt something really painful on my wrist and he pricked it, I was begging the Lord to rescue me, the dragon laughed and said where is your God? He won't rescue you. He has abandoned you and he laughed, then all the demons laughed with him, I could see them but I could feel them in the spirit realm, I began to feel the invisible rope that starting to squeeze me, it was painful and they kept laughing at me. Surprisingly the sword of the spirit which is the word of God came out of my mouth when I said the thief comes only to steal, kill and destroy, but my Jesus came to give me life and have it abundantly and to destroy you in Jesus name. Then I got awakened. Then the Lord said to me my daughter, you have to be vigilant, the enemy is like a roaring lion, looking for something to devour, you must always pray, always worship and always read my words, I will never leave you call unto me and I will answer, I love you so much, people of God, be on your guard. Think, if servants are attacked by the demons, what more in your case, he might as well attack you or he has already attacked you, you should always pray, worship and meditate on the words, wear the full armor of God so you may take stand on his schemes, be watchful, keep your lamp burning until he comes, Maranatha. Thank you, it was already morning. Now, Go back to earth and do what the Lord wants you to do, he said, meanwhile, I gained gravity and my spirit started to fall back on earth, I was shouting new. Then I reached the place where I was struck by that ball of light, as I went back to my body, I got physically awake. It was already morning. Now, go back to earth and do what the Lord wants you to do, he said, meanwhile. I gained gravity and my spirit started to fall back on earth, I was shouting new. Then I reached the place where I was struck by that ball of light, as I went back to my body, I got physically awake. It was already morning.